pickups because I've got them in a bunch of guitars now and I absolutely love them to bits um, so let's just jump straight in this is my main telly so just a parts guitar um, that I built during COVID and it's kind of been a work in progress for the last couple of years it's a I get a lot of questions about these details so let's just get into all of it um, this is a Lindy Fralin all parts neck that you order from Lindy Fralin's website. Um, they're a big fat U shape and they're, they are that way so they're kind of for self shaping. So this I've shaped to like a soft V and it finishes at a full C, uh, like tapers into a full C at about the seventh fret. Um, it's a one piece ash body pretty lightweight. It's got a V-Bender, Gene Parsons uh, V-Bender in it. And then um, the electronics are out of an old uh, Fender lap steel from the 50s. These pickups, um, I got this bridge pickup from Ron a couple years ago and it's his 50B uh, flat pole telly pickup. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite unapologetic telly bridge pickup. <laughs> Anyway, I got this bridge pickup and I asked Ron, I was like, man, what if, what if we could come up with a neck pickup that was as full and big sounding as the bridge? And I thought, you know, let's just try, we just put a bridge pickup in the neck. And he said, no, just leave it with me for a minute and I'll come up with a recipe. So he came up with this pickup that he calls the killer. <laughs> which is an expression I overuse. Um, so this is a new pickup that's, um, you know, I'm sure you could use it with anything, but it, in particular, it works amazing with this bridge pickup. <laughs> This is exactly what I want out of a telly. All right, there's that one. This is a Strat. It's an old Chad Underwood Strat from, I don't know, years and years ago. It's a, just a blonde, older body um, Strat based on a mid 60s and it's got a set of Ron's 64, his 64 set of strap pickups. Which I love, they're so balanced. 
chants. You're not too bright. I don't like strap pickups when they're too bright. I like them to be soft under the hands, you know? Another parts guitar I had built. Um, the body is a mahogany, thin line body, one piece. It was um, cut in somewhere up in Canada. And then it was painted by um, an artist in Canada. Um, you can follow him on my Instagram. I love his work, he's amazing. Look at that, it's all like hand drawn and then nitro on top. Um, this is a set of Ron's low wind fifties uh, P nineties. Really tellyish, which I love, but they're full. It's one of those roasted Fender roasted maple necks. I wasn't sure I was going to really love it, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's a little bit smaller than what I normally like, but this guitar weighs nothing. All right. Next one is this really killer Collings Julian Large JL470, they call it. And it's based on a 50s duo jet. Chambered mahogany body. Um, and a really killer neck shape. Man, they nailed this. It's like a full D shape, soft, but like a soft V, D kind of shape. Um, really light, really cool. And these have Ron's, um, you know, the version of his Diamond pickups, which I know they spent a lot of time on and they really, really nailed it.
like, but it's like full in a different way. <laughs> different versions, different models of the Ron Ellis pickups that I love. Um, people ask me all the time about them, and so I just thought I'd do this video to give you, give you, a, you know, more of a all-round perspective of the different models. <laughs> So there you go, the 50B and the Killer neck pickup, K-I-L-L-A, which is it's about to come out. I think they're just taking orders for it. Um, there you go. Ron's got a new website, runellispickups.com. You can, uh, I think you can order them direct from him. All right. We'll see you soon.